Welcome back to my channel, Glitter Babes. Today, I'll be creating Dollar Tree candle holders. And these will be the vases I'll be using. One is six inches, the other seven, and the other's nine. I'll also be using these mason jars and this bowl. I'll first start off by gluing these marbles around the vase using my E6000 and my hot glue gun. I'm going to put the E6000 around the rim of the vase and I'm doing it this way because I've already done the other two candle holders and I figured out this was the best way and the best technique. So I am coating the bottom with E6000 and on the top I am putting the hot glue. And if you do the line really thin it should work out perfectly. After I did that row, I made another row with my E6000 and my hot glue. And I continued this method until I reached the top of the vase. And this is how it looked so far. And this is how the vase looked when it was done. And now I'm gonna move on to my mason jar. I removed the string from around it and I'm gonna be doing the same technique, putting E6000 around the jar and then putting the hot glue and then um, putting the marbles around. And this is how they both look. And then I went outside and I spray painted them metallic gold. After that was complete, I took my clear bowl that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I covered it in Mod Podge. And then I sprinkled crushed mirror on top of it.
And I also added gold glitter to give it an extra bling. After that, I sat it down to dry and after all three of my pieces were dry, I attached them using my adhesive and my hot glue. The last thing I did was go around the rim of the mason jar with this crushed mirror. And instead of using Mod Podge, I used my hot glue gun because it dried quicker. And if you're going to use a hot glue gun instead of Mod Podge, please be very careful because hot glue is hot. <laughs> After this step was completed, I went over the crush mirror with Mod Podge and this was the outcome. I really love how the marbles look spray painted. I love the marbles and the crush mirror together. Um, this is a simple project anyone can do and it's very quick. Thank you all so much for watching and please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And please subscribe to my uh, second YouTube channel where I'll be doing DIYs there. So I'll be doing fashion DIYs and I'll also be doing music and giving away prizes. Thank you all so much and see you later glitter babes.